Hi, my name is Kendall. I'm with Sun Camper RVs of Okeechobee. And today I'd like to show you a brand new 2020 Jayco Whitehawk 31BH. First we'll start up front and work our way to the back and then we'll go inside and take a look at some of the cool features in there. All right, it's got a table, it comes with it. Folding table, it's a little storage slot for it there. Plenty of pass-through storage. You'll see a battery disconnect down on the other side there. This is your switch for the front lights. And these front lights here, blue accent lights and then blue docking lights. We'll work our way around. Satellite and cable hookup for your television outside. And here is your power for your patio. This is where your TV would hook to. It comes with the mounting bracket. It hooks onto this block. It also has one in the bedroom where it'll hook onto that block. So all you need to do is just take the TV out of the bedroom, and hook it here. That way you don't have to carry three TVs around with you. You can only, you know, just carry the ones that you use inside. And when you want to, you can carry that one out and hook it to here. Resistive hinge door. Lights underneath the steps, they're really hard to see, but they'll be uh, blue kind of accent lighting. Solid steps. They're really nice solid steps. These ones here, they're made of aluminum, so they're not that heavy. They fold up and they lock in place, and you can just close the door and you're ready to go. Handles up. This is your fill for your fresh water. Hot water heater, which is propane and electric. Your furnace exhaust and intake, and the back side of your refrigerator. One of the cool outside features is an outdoor kitchen with a propane grill with a quick, di quick disconnect mm, right there. So that's the propane quick disconnect over underneath there. So what that means for you is if you don't want to use this grill, if you want to use your own propane grill, there are adapters you can buy and you can hook up to that same quick disconnect. Now this one's kind of nice because it has these little thumb tabs. They're locks, so it locks itself out. And it also locks itself in. This is a real sink. So kind of a flexible spray nozzle there. That has a quick disconnect on it also. So you can change this out and a hot and cold supply to there. So you have your little blue night light up there and then lights underneath. Fair amount of storage. Nice rugged metal surface. Same goes for this here. Comes with a ladder. LED lights all the way around with a backup light. This is your outdoor shower right here, hot and cold. City water connection is right here, right on the back. And that's your power right there. Around this side, you'll see nice frameless windows. That's your sewer and gray water outlet right there. This is your black water tank flush, which means it has jets in there, cleans up the tank for you. We'll go over that a little bit more. If you purchase a trailer through, through us, uh, I will actually run you through an hour to an hour and a half training course on how to use everything on these. And this is one of those things that I'll include because this one, a little complicated, but really neat. Um, it's about as close as you can get to an auto level system on one of these trailers. Basically you turn it on, you select extend or retract. You do that for the tongue jack. You got, let's do extend. You can control all four corners. They have electric scissor jacks on them. So you hear that. Let's retract those. So you can do that with all four corners. You can actually level it with this because you can do that. Now there's built in stuff that I'll train you about um where you only can go up so far then it'll stop for a moment and you have to wait a few seconds and you can go up a little bit more that's just so you don't wind up tipping over your camper essentially not that that's even possible but um just so you don't wind up pushing it too far of course you have your propane tanks on the tongue 
Come take a look at this. Jayco started adding these and I think they're kind of neat. So when your trailer's parked, you just take your plug and there you go. So no longer it, it, it no longer has to rest on the ground or you have to worry about it. Um, maybe you're just moving your, your uh, trailer a short distance around the yard and oh, you forgot the cord and it rips off or it, uh, it's all ground up. So it has a nice little spot where it can be when it's parked. Where it doesn't get dirt in the plugs and all that. All right, we're back to our storage. So we've already seen this. Um, I do want to point out again, if you can look across there, because I forgot to open up the door. It does have a battery disconnect on this trailer, which is just like a little plastic key. Um, and that's for when you put it in storage, you just flip that over and you won't draw on your batteries that rest on the tongue. Uh, so it saves your batteries. Okay, now we can go inside. Almost. Outdoor speakers. Electric awning, that's a standard now. And the LED strip underneath for your patio light. All right. Well, where should we start? I guess we start with this. Face the doors. That's a jackknife sofa or a trifold. Trifold. So a trifold is actually a little bit better than jackknife because it comes out a little bit further. Of course, LED lights throughout. Nice wall sconce there and lights above the dinette. Decent sized dinette. Accent lighting underneath. And storage underneath as well. Oh, there you go. This can fold down into a bed. And this is a bunkhouse model, so we'll take a look at that in just a moment here. First, the kitchen. Furry yarn stove. Three burner, electric ignite for both the oven and the three burners on top. Nice stainless steel dual basin sink with stainless steel fixtures. And that's a spray nozzle. It's kind of a neat little thing. So you just press the button, pull it up, and you got USB charging outlets and 110 outlets. Slide in here as well. Storage up here both sides nice skylight in the kitchen with a uh, shade that pulls across here we have adjustable ducted AC underneath oh so that's for uh, sponges and stuff like that there we go I was expecting that to be a drawer actually but then you have these three drawers below that. Over here, good amount of storage underneath. The panel down below, that's just because there's utilities underneath there, uh, such as the furnace and hot water heater. That's your intake for your furnace over here. Access for the back of the hot water heater. The medic refrigerator, very large. Freezer and refrigerator, gas and electric. Great amount of storage back here as well. It goes all the way back. Underneath it's the same thing. You have a shelf in there. Over here, this is your controls for the rear slide out. I'll show you the controls in a minute for everything else. You do have a door in here. Not a barn door, an actual door. AC is ducted through here. All right, we'll start with this side. This again is another tri-fold sofa. Comes all the way up to here. But on top of that, there is a bunk that folds down. You see, you have another window here. Light up there as well, light down there. You got outlets on either side. And across from the sofa, you have a spot for a television. You have a bunk up here, a little corner shelf, and an outlet up there as well. Got this little bungee kind of shelf here, shelves here. Here we got another little storage compartment that goes back and connects up with this one. And 
over here, even more storage. And over here, I wanted to show this off, spot kind of to put your shoes. So it's kind of a neat little feature. Again, I, I say this in most of my videos, Jayco really makes use of any space that they have and they put storage wherever they can. So there's probably even stuff that I haven't seen yet. Again, that accent lighting continues underneath the couch. And there's switches over there to control the accent lighting. The switch over here to control the main lights on the slide. Before we go any further, come over here, I'll show you the control panel. This is where you control your electric or gas hot water heater. Battery levels, fresh water tank levels, black and gray uh, tank levels. Security lights on the outside, on the other side, it's just a little tiny light. I forgot to show it, but uh, it's kind of, it's hard to see, but it's a very bright light. It's just a few LEDs and it's about, about that big and uh, very bright light. No longer uh, do we have the big security lights like that, that kind of look ugly sitting on the side of the coach. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Awning light, of course, that's light outside and living room lights for the ceiling in here, the main ceiling. Of course, your slide out control is right here for the main slide and awning uh, control is right here as well. All right, a little storage there too. Over here, we have your entertainment center. A little bit of storage on either side. Really nice Furion radio that plays to the outside and the inside. You can select different zones. So you can turn off the outside if you wanted to. It plays DVDs also. And it has an HDMI cable that comes up behind the television. Um, yeah, it's there. Sometimes they just have them coming up through here. Sometimes they're coming up right behind the television. Um, but so you can play DVDs through to the TV. Up here we have a bunch of storage as well. Electric fireplace. Comes with a remote control. You can change the colors. I think the colors of the rocks change. There's a flame that projects in behind it. You can change the colors of that even. And that is also an electric heater. So on cold Flor Florida nights, um, which we do have in the winter time, uh, you can just run the electric heater. You don't have to run the propane furnace. A little bit of storage space underneath too. Again, for shoes. Pretty much just as you come in through the door. And uh, another feature as you come in through the door, little pegs for hanging coats. Now we go on to the restroom. All right, there's a lot of light switches in here. One of these is for the fan. One here for the main lights in the ceiling. One's gonna be for the accent lights around the medicine cabinet. And another is gonna be for the night light. So you can just run the night light if you wanted to. This here, porcelain bowl toilet. Rugged flat lid. Uh, just one pedal on these. Gone are the days of the two pedals. You fill the bowl and then you flush. No, this one you hold it halfway down, you fill it and then you flush. Um, a lot simpler toilet and a lot easier to keep clean than plastic toilets. So nice porcelain toilet. Of course, you got your sink here. Just got a magnet on it. Strong magnet. But that's your medicine cabinet. Underneath, good amount of storage. Glass doors on rollers with a magnetic strip in between, latches them together. You also have this little piece of rubber here. Uh, that's for when you're traveling down the road so they don't bounce around. Decent sized shower with a skylight. So if you're a little bit taller, still fit in there. And a little bit of storage right above the toilet. Now we go on to the bedroom. Okay, so the bedroom does have a door. Has this little bungee thing. Just kind of unhook it. That's really just for when you're traveling. And it's a barn door that slides across. And you can lock it also. It has this hard to see, but it's a little lock here. And that just pulls across. Come take a look at this bungee. This is stuff that Jayco thinks of. It has a handle on it. 
so you don't have to mess with it you just pull it up like that and there you go and then to get it on there just like that so little stuff like that all right this took me a while to figure out what these went to but there's light switches down here on either side and what they control is back in here there's actually a little cubby space and there's a little accent light or night light in there as well and that goes all the way back to that wall so there's cubby spaces on either side on top of that a little bit of a hanging closet and this shelf can be removed so it becomes more of a hanging closet than anything outlets on either side this is a touch sensitive light so it has a couple different settings accent lights reading light with accent light or bright white reading light and the other side's got the same thing look it's got a window in the front that's a really neat feature of the white hawks of course it's got the curtain there we go all right um and over here we have your second door up underneath the awning over here you have bracket locations so this is where your bedroom television would go your cable hookup for that and your outlet for that there is a vent with a fan in here but it also has the ducted AC in here as well as well as yeah the furnace as well as ducted into the bedroom underneath the bed it's got gas struts so it lifts up and you have a good amount of storage. We got the box for like the 40 inch TV underneath there. We got another box underneath there with all the accessories. Um, something I want to show you of some of these accessories that it comes with is right here. These are stainless steel rods. This is actually a strainer that goes over the sink. It rolls up, so it's really neat, but it sits flat over the sink and uh, it's to make more of a working space. You take advantage of that, that counter space. There's also a wooden cutting board in here. One place or another, it might be in the kitchen. Um, hoses for your propane quick disconnect. This is some of the stuff that Jayco throws in. Strainers, of course, for the sink. This is your other option. I think you saw in the outdoor kitchen where you had the quick disconnect for that nozzle that's out there. This is your other option for that. And also this works for your outdoor shower. Let's go back in there. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Get your speakers on the ceiling here. For your radio. About covers it. Again, my name's Kendall. I work with Sun Camper RVs of Okeechobee. Uh, my phone number is 903-816-2838. I'm here most all the time. Uh, give me a call though if you have any more questions. Um, maybe this one isn't the right one for you. Take a look at our website. We have a whole bunch of other floor plans. Whole bunch of different models and different series of Jayco's and other brands as well so take a look at our website you're probably already there if you're watching this video um, take a look at our other inventory and if you don't see what you what you need if you don't see something with the features that you need give me a call I can either hunt it down for you or even order it for you so again my name is Kendall I work with Sun Camper RVs of Okeechobee and my phone number is 903-816-2838. Thank you.